We're going to create some rainbow text in Photoshop this time. Um, so the first thing to do is get a new document open. And we're going to have about 400 by 300. Make sure it's set to RGB. Click OK. And now I'm going to colour my background in black. So I use my colour picker. Um, choose black from the bottom left. Then get my paint bucket, which again might be behind the gradient tool. There we go. And just click on my background. I'm now going to add some text. So I can click on the text tool or I can pr press T on my keyboard to get my text tool up. And I'm going to use Arial font, bold, size 90, strong. And with my color picker for my text tool, I want it to be white, which is your top left here. So now that I've got my text settings, I'll click on my canvas and I'll just type. I'm going to use the word rainbow. There we go. And I'll just grab the move tool and move my text into the middle. Now what we want to do is rasterize this text so we can split it into individual letters and work with them one at a time. Um, to do that, go to layer, choose rasterize and choose type. Now you've got to make sure you've got the rainbow layer selected there. There we go. So that's rasterized that layer. And I'm just going to zoom in for the next bit. So control and plus to zoom in to let me be a bit more precise. And up here, underneath my um, move tool, is my rectangular marquee tool, which again could be disguised behind any one of those. So click and hold on the tool if you can't see the one you're looking for. And what I'm going to do is just quite carefully draw a box with my mouse around the R just the R, like so. Now I'm going to create a new layer with just the R on it. And the easiest way to do that is to use a keyboard shortcut, which is hold down your control key, your shift key, and press J. And you'll see over here in the layers menu that it's popped up on a new layer. So I'll just double click where it says layer one, and I'll rename that R, just so I know what I'm doing. Now that I've done that, right click this new layer I've just made, choose blending options and color overlay, tick it and click on the words color overlay and you can pick the color that you want to be overlaid. So if I change it, you'll see that it starts to maneuver around. I'm going to go in rainbow order. So red is first, red and yellow and pink and green and so on. So we'll click OK there and OK there and my R is red. Using the marquee tool again, select the A. I missed that little bit of the A there. So to try again, I press the escape key or I press, hold down control and press D to deselect. And I'll try again to get it all. Make sure you don't get any of the other letters as well. There's my A. Control, Shift, and J again for a new layer. And you get a nice error message. Hold on, that's because I'm trying to do it on the R layer instead of the rainbow layer. That was my. So if I click on the rainbow layer, I should be able to do it. Control Shift and J. There we go. New layer. Rename it. Make sure you've got it selected. Right click, blending options, color overlay, tick and click. Red and yellow this time. Um, Okay, we'll just do one more. Make sure your rainbow layer is selected. Use the marquee tool to select your letter. Control Shift and J. Rename it. Select it. Right click blending options. Tick and click on color overlay. Choose your color red and yellow and pink. There we go. I'll just pause this and do the rest whilst you do the same and we'll pick this up once you've done them all. Okay, now I've done all my letters. What I want to do is turn all of these layers into one big one. And the way to do that is to click on single click, left click on your top layer, scroll to the bottom, hold down shift and click on your rainbow layer at the bottom here. Like that, don't select the background one as well, but it selects everything in between. And then all you do is go to layer and choose merge layers. Now that makes them all one big one. But to make this 
even uh, to make this a bit more interesting what we're going to do is add a little bit of blur to it so I'm going to duplicate this layer right click it and duplicate layer I'm going to call it blur there we go and with the blur selected I'm going to go to filter blur and I'm going to choose motion blur and my angle is I'm going to set to 90 and my distance I'm going to set to 80 the smaller the distance the closer the blur is to the letters the bigger the distance the further it is away so you can have a good I can have a play with that but the 90 degree angle means it's top and bottom like so when you're happy click OK and there is your rainbow text